Hi everyone, emergency video today, mainly because of what the markets are doing. It is around 9.20 a.m. on August 5th. The markets haven't opened. It's gonna open in around 11 minutes. I'm gonna film the reaction and what's happening to that. On Friday, we had a big sell-off and everything is signaling sell-off even more, uh, mainly because of what's happening in Japan and the other markets. Some markets are down 12%. Right now, we are opening around minus 3.5%. This hasn't happened since what is it, March 2020? We haven't had a single day drop this bad since March 2020. This is a rare event. This is called the Black Swan event. We are signaling recession, mainly because the unemployment rate, this has been, this is the highest it's been in nearly three years. Sorry, I wrote down some notes. I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just trying to keep my phone on. Job growth decreased from 215,000 average to around, what was it, 140,000. The central banks holding rates steady for, is it like the eighth or ninth straight meeting? Everyone was expecting rates to cut. They held rates too high for too long, and now the economy is hurting. People's debt, their mortgage, their credit card, all their expenses are too high. Um, yeah, and, and you know, bringing in immigrants to try to pump up the market hasn't really helped. And now everyone is signaling Everyone is signaling recession. So it's like a, it's the, the fear mongering. If you look at the S&P 500, we dropped from 553, what is it on Thursday to, we're opening around like 514 now. This is a huge drop. Correct, it is in correction territory. Corrections are expected. They happen every few years. But here's what we haven't had in a long time. The VIX, the VIX is indirectly the fear index. It is up 135%. Now, if we go back just to see when the last time this happened. Okay, so the last time this happened was March 2020. VIX went up to 85. Right now it's at 55. It went up to 68 earlier today. But this happened in March or February uh, 2018. And then it happened again in 2015. So this happens every few years. This has been the longest we've gone without a VIX spike in a long time. Um, th th there's a lot of things to take into account. Uh, like Amazon signaling a decrease in revenue. So they missed revenue, but they only missed by like 0.5%. In their earnings last week, it wasn't the revenue, where is it, Amazon? It wasn't the revenue miss, it was their outlook. So Amazon went down, even though their net income went up, but it's this, look at this, 0.46 revenue miss, but they're signaling a slowdown their outlook in twenty in Q3 and Q4 2024, that's what's causing everything to tank. It's like the tech sell-off. Everyone's been so focused on AI and it hasn't hit yet. So they the markets are, are implying that people are spending too much on AI and the returns aren't going to be as, as good as much. If we look at NVIDIA, NVIDIA is down 11%. Nancy Pelosi won't be happy about that. Tesla down 9%. Everything is down. And Apple, Apple was the only one positive on Friday when everything else was negative. Like you see on the right, maybe I'll hide my face. It was the only stock that was positive. Well, only positive 0.69%, whereas everything else was super negative. But a big reason why Apple's tanking now, again, it's Warren Buffett sold almost 50% of his stake. I have it written down here, $277 billion which is almost half of his entire stake. And he sold Bank of America $12 billion to get defensive. Getting defensive means he's preparing for a recession. He obviously knows more than we do. So it's uh, it's it's not, uh, it's not fun um, if you're trading options. I'll make a separate video on options, but this is just to explain what's happening in the market. Everyone is expecting a recession, but it doesn't, it doesn't explain why markets are dropping so much right now now like there hasn't been an official report do the politicians know more than we do do the hedge funds know more than we do we're about seven minutes away from market open so i might pause the video and then come back just to film the market open i just want to see what happens the movement the vix what is what is it doing we were at five oh spy 507 previously now we're coming back to 513 so that's fine bitcoin the volatility on crypto is a lot you know down 14 percent on bitcoin down 17% on Ethereum. Again, these are just temporary. Anyone who bought crypto thinking it was a hedge, it's it's clearly not. It's too tied in with the market. There's another stock I want to talk about, which is Intel. Intel, man, they had a worse, what is it? Their their revenue was up, but their net in, they had a net income decrease. I wrote down the loss. 
They had a 1.6 billion loss this quarter, whereas last year, the same quarter, they had around like 1.5 billion dollar gain. They laid off a bunch of staff. I think they cut their dividend. This is a big one. It's part of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It's like 30 30 stocks that kind of predict that market. This has been around for 50 years. Like if we look at Intel, INTC stock, if you held for the last, uh, let's see. Okay, so since 1997 to now, even though you'd be earning dividends, if, man, imagine holding from 97 to now and then not even making any money on the stock. I know you'd be making... I know you'd be making the the dividends, but it, it is it is hard. It used to be such a good stock, and it's going down even more. So I'm gonna. This is the heat map from Friday. Again, not many, not much green, but I think we'll see everything red today. And I just want to see what it look like when it opens, and I just want to show you guys, or just maybe film it live. Uh, are there any notes? Did I write anything else down? Microsoft dropped even after beating revenue and income earnings. What else happened? That's uh. I think that's about it for we, we don't have much news. Nothing's been confirmed. We're not officially in a recession, but it's signaling towards it. If you're trading, if you're trading stocks, maybe cut and run. It's too risky. You know, the rule is like, what is it like VIX above 40? Don't trade. But right now it's at 55. You can make more money trading options right now, but it is it is pretty worrying. So I'm going to pause it here for now. I'm going to come back in around four minutes just to see what the market is doing. Okay, so we are about 45 seconds away. I'm just going to keep talking, not really saying much, just to see what the market is doing. We kind of bounce back a little. Um, I do think it's going to continue to drop. A little nervous because of my my stocks. I mean, mainly because of my options trading. I will make a separate video about trying to follow someone's strategy or, or things not working. This is pretty much why I stopped filming my trades because people were following blindly, not knowing the risks. I take more risks than most people are willing to accept so it is kind of uh it's just hard especially when some people told me that they were trading with their house down payment which i didn't feel comfortable so i kind of stopped that but i do have my interactive brokers live trading with with a paper account let's see what happens market open here we go okay so it is opening down let's go to one minute hard sell off this is crazy we're at 510. I think we're going to go into 509. What is the VIX doing? Came down a little. The S&P 500, 511. I'm wondering if people have to, if the first half an hour will be a little more volatile because people have to buy to close any short positions they have. Again, I will make a separate video, maybe even now, about the downsides of a following strategy or certain trades, but certain trades. But I'm going to end this now. Okay, it didn't drop. It's not as crazy as I thought it was. I thought it'd be more. I thought more more action would happen. I thought it would be a crazy downturn, but I'm hoping this is it and we kind of slow down. Maybe we end at 505 or 500 and then we can slowly creep back up. But yeah, you know, I've made previous videos on how much I've lost, you know, unrealized loss. Just buy and hold on. Just hold your stocks. Don't panic, panic sell. If you bought the S&P 500 or if you bought ETFs, it's only a real loss if you crystallize. I wouldn't crystallize losses just now. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.